lower down the heat. Don't need it to go too crazy. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Another fun day ensues. Right now, I'm heading to the scrap. I'm gonna drop off all that metal I got yesterday in the trash. I expect probably 10 or 15 bucks high end, maybe 15. I took out some of the non-ferrous metal. So that little planter thing, I hit that with a file just now, and it's actually brass. So I thought it was probably brass, and it was brass. So that's good. Um, there was also some pots that might have been stainless or not stainless. I hit it with a magnet and they were stainless, so I took them out. Generally they are stainless, but sometimes uh, they aren't. They're that iron stuff that just plated stainless. It's like a cheaper cheaper grade. So I took those out as well and clipped, on, clipped off some of the cords. But here we are at the mud pit, also known as the scrap yard, behind George's plumbing and heating. I don't know if George knows where to go, but light iron is now over there. Should be a fun day when we drop off all this metal. They have a new uh, baler here as well. It's uh, They bale all their iron now, which is a lot smarter. They can fit more in trucks, make more money, less trips, more profit. Actually kind of cool what they're doing, but what is this guy doing? Loading in progress, stay clear of truck and trailer. But that's a magnet. No idea. I don't think you could set those magnets for like different grades. I, I like aluminum is not a magnetic, but maybe you can. Maybe there's something out there at So that's all the iron they've actually gotten last year, straight ahead. Um, and lots of it's just dirt because they keep pushing upward and upward on it. So a lot of it's dirt mixed with metal. I think they're separating it, putting all the metal there, and then I don't know what they're going to do with all the dirt-metal combo. I, I don't know. No idea what happens to that. Oh, we're good to go. Got to drive through this lake over here and get to that pile. All right, dropped off the middle. Go in here and get paid. All right, got ourselves a moolah to buy a storage locker now. So I'm going to storage auction right now. I figure if I buy a locker, a small locker, I can clean it out right now. Uh, so 19 bucks. That's what we got in, in iron from garbage picking yesterday. So people have asked me, is garbage picking like a good profitable business? It's not a very profitable business. I do it as a hobby. I'm not doing it to show you guys I make a million dollars. And I enjoy trash picking because I enjoy finding random things, you know, random treasures. Of course, it's fun. You know, you're saving the earth while at the same time you're making a little bit of money. They're making money. Garbage people don't have to fill up their landfills. It's a win-win for everyone. Then we're here. Did I just no? All right. Guess I gotta go sign in. place is getting kind of slammed so this is called a caravan auction it kind of is what it is uh, what I didn't realize is that there's seven lockers being sold here at this facility so they're selling between seven different facilities this goes all right from Bath to Bethlehem to Freemansburg to Allentown back to Bethlehem I know the second place that they're selling at this or the second facility they're selling out is 9.8 miles that way and you have to get back on the highway so this is going to be like an all-day event. I'm not going to stick around all day. I'm too mentally fried right now to kind of just even function. Um, but I'm going to try to buy a locker here. There are seven lockers at this facility going up for sale. But there's already, I don't know, 25, 30 cars here, trucks, some vans. I saw someone behind me actually just leave. They literally got in their van. They got their paper, and they just zipped on out. But we'll try to buy something here. Uh, I wasn't really expecting it to be 
between seven different facilities. I thought it was only one facility. It had 40 lockers. I know. Well, I wasn't saying anything. Um, and tomorrow they have a facility. They have. And tomorrow this company has 140 lockers going up for sale. Has 140 lockers going up for sale, but it's probably between 10 or 15 facilities, so it's kind of pointless to me. So we'll see if we buy anything here. If not, it is what it is. I'll at least show you guys what the lockers look like. I got 70, 80. Do I hear 80? I got 89 over here, 90. I got 89 over here, 90. I got 80 over here, 90. I got 90, 90 to 100. I got 100. How about 110? How about 110? I got 100. I got 13, I hear 13 and a half. 13 and a half, I hear 14. I got 14, I hear 14 and a half. I got 15, 15 going what? 15 now going twice. 15 now, last call. 15 it is. That's it. That is it. Try to get a little bit of a photo of it, but man, these lockers went pricey today. I mean, fifteen hundred is probably what it's worth, maybe. I don't know. I, that's a good, good locker to go through if you guys are interested. Hey, it is what it is. Onward with the day. Well, made it back home. Made it back home. Here's the quilt that I grabbed yesterday. All right, salsa's just, all right, salsa's just gonna hang out up here, I guess. A little salsa. So here's the quilt that I grabbed the other day. And uh, some people have asked to see it. So I think it is a new quilt. I think I saw a tag on it and it's got like a name on it, but I'll try to unravel it. Do my, yeah, so this is definitely a, a newer quilt. It's not antique. It's probably made in the 90s, I would assume. I did grab this out of the trash yesterday and just washed it. I did grab this out of the trash. It looks nice when you don't actually <laughs> when you don't actually look at it too much, but it is definitely a newer quilt. There you got a cigarette stain right there or a cigarette burn. I think the tag is in that corner. 
Uh, but yeah, like I said, probably in the 90s. These are all butterflies. Somebody's going to like it. I think I can still get a decent amount out of it at the flea market. It might be like a $30, $40 item on eBay. I'll have to see. I think I'd get $15, $20 at the flea market. Given that it's not an older one, it'd be more like a decorative kind of quilt. Salsa is going to stand on it and go do salsa things. But that's going to wrap it up here uh, for today's video. It's been fun. Went to the scrapyard and uh, checked out the storage lockers. Unfortunately, the storage lockers went too pricey for me. I might be bidding on one online in the future uh, coming up. and We'll see about that. But it's been fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smack that like button. If you want to see more treasure hunting videos just like this, definitely subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.